What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today in the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And uh, you guys are probably wondering, hey, that looks like a paper towel. Is Jeff recording in his bathroom? And I absolutely am because Samsung dropped the One UI 6.0 beta at 8 p.m. on a Thursday night. And I'm at home relaxing and I was like, I gotta shoot a video. My desk was a mess. So I was like, hey, let's shoot in the bathroom countertop. Let's do it. So today we're gonna get into how to install the One UI 6.0 beta. Uh, what kind of features you can expect to see. I just started installing it. I can also give you some tips about um, making sure that you do a couple things to make sure it works because it can crash a little bit when you first install it. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, if you want to install the One UI 6.0 beta, you're gonna have to get the Samsung Members app. So download or find the Samsung Members app on your phone. You can find the Galaxy Store or the Play Store. Once you go in there, obviously this is the beta um, testing information once you've already installed it. But uh, this is what it's gonna look like when you have Samsung members and you don't have the beta yet. If you scroll over, you'll see One UI 6.0 beta program. You can tap on that and then go down there, read through it and register for it and tap on the register and then they'll give you an update. Uh, you'll find that in your regular software update you know, issue. Um, so uh, where you'll find that of course is in here. If you scroll down, you'll find it right here. So you can see right here, software update, you'll see your update will appear right here. Download and install. You can see I just installed one right now. And then that's also where you'll find the change log for One UI 6.0. And so there it is, last successful update. I did it at 8.25. You guys see I'm recording the video at 8.49. I want to get this up to let everybody know that it's available. So those of you who want it can go out there and get it. Of course, I'll make another video later today with a lot more in-depth on the features because I only had a chance to look at these very you know quickly. Um, some of the big ones, we know there's a new quick panel, which I'll show you guys in a second. Um, you can reposition your clock on your lock screen in different ways, so kind of in a more dynamic way. There's a new font, which you guys probably just saw right now as I was scrolling through the settings. Um, keep pop-up windows open um, when you go into the recents. Uh, new emoji design, new ways to share content. There's a new weather widget, um, interactive map view. There's a bunch of new camera features, including the new camera widget, which we already heard was coming earlier. In the gallery, you've got save clipped images as stickers, which you were able to do in the past. You also have drag and drop with two hands, which was a feature that came to the Z Fold 5 that I actually made a video about the other day, but that is now available on the S23 Ultra in One UI 6.0. Um, some photo editing things, um, schedule at a glance with the new schedule view, um, some cool new reminder categories and options for creating reminders, play videos in the background, Samsung internet, um, some cool things on smart select with magnified view, a new way to customize your greetings and switch to Bixby during a call on Bixby Text Call, which I love because I use Bixby Text Call all the time. Um, changes to modes and routines and smart suggestions. Um, Finder, My Files, um, smarter airplane mode, easier access to the battery settings, blocking security threats, and some new accessibility options. So there's a lot of stuff. Um, there's really a lot of visual changes here. Again, you guys can see the new, if you swipe down here, you can see right here, if you swipe down, there you can see the new quick panel. Where you can see the layout which we saw in the leaks and also on the blog post that Samsung made. You've got all your quick settings. Of course, one swipe now just brings you to the short quick settings. Also here, I was playing some Spotify. You guys can see the new music widget with the album art, which I think looks really, really good. Um, we were all hoping for that, the new music widget. I'll get into that more in depth in another video tomorrow, but I was already playing around with that. You can of course see the new text, which you can see right there. Um, I think the new font looks pretty nice overall. Uh, the settings layout's also slightly changed a little bit as well. Uh, you do have the new back gesture. So if you see the new back arrow over there, there's a new back arrow right there. Um, predictive back as well is on here. I'll play around with that and talk about the stability of it a little bit. Now, if you do inside install this, first of all, it's gonna be buggy because it's the first beta, but also keep in mind that you need to make sure if you have any good lock modules installed that you uninstall them. If you guys are wondering why I don't have the stock icons here, it's because I rushed to install this and I forgot to unapply my icon pack in Theme Park. And so this is Aries Black Icon Pack. Those are stuck there because Theme Park does not work with One UI 6.0. In fact, most of the good lock modules, including Home Up, which I use to get the vertical app drawer, also doesn't work in One UI 6.0. So you should uninstall all those because it also cause a bunch of crashes. I also highly recommend that you clear cache partition and repair apps from the boot menu uh, if you do inside to install the beta, I had to do that to stop it from crashing in the beginning because that's going to be a lot of that. And I always recommend that. I have a video on how to do that. If you guys want to check that out, I'll drop it below. Anyway, substantial new features here. Lots of cool new widgets. 
a redesign of the quick settings panel. This is one of the biggest visual changes we've seen in quite a while. I definitely don't recommend you install this on your only phone. Obviously I have my Fold 5, my Flip 5. I don't have to make, you know, if I need something for critical use, I don't have to worry about if there's bugs, but I will certainly be making a follow-up video about the stability, about the battery life, a little bit of lag. The animations are definitely improved. I don't know if you guys saw, I'll show you the animations really quick. The actual animations themselves, and also you see the animation when you swipe down here, they just seem a lot better overall to me. Uh, I've been really, really happy with that. Um, so they do, it does look like they've improved the animations. I definitely like the quick, the, the back gesture now a little bit, you know, more closer to the pixel. Um, but it's going to be a polarizing design in terms of that quick panel. So we'll definitely dive into more of those features tomorrow. Anyway, if you guys want to install it, it's available Samsung members. Remember, it is a limited time beta. So if you want to get in, you have to enroll. But uh, it is a risky thing to do because the first beta can be a little buggy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.